Mark Burnett with the Island Generation. Hey, I got an email from somebody that said, hey, I've looked at some of the Philippines uh, and uh, some of the videos are really cool, really showing great places, a lot of fun, looks fun to eat, uh, just a bustling towns, wild, crazy fun. Um, looks great and then calm beaches if i want to sit at the beach and also mountain areas where you can go and be cooler uh it's really nice up there uh, it, it's hard to describe but it's a shangri-la in the mountain areas and uh this this person asked uh basically um they, they saw some videos that people were uh downing the philippine area other people loved it people lived there and uh, you know, because could I address that? Well, there are some people that have videos up on uh, YouTube. Eh, YouTube lets anybody post anything. Uh, look at me, I'm here. <laughs> okay. Um, and the the main fact is that some people just have some issues. It sometimes these are political issues, religious issues, and they just are whack jobs. I mean, they're crazy. I want you to know the Island Generation has no political issues at all. We have no religious issues at all. There's no religious backing here. There's no religious thinking behind all this. There's no political backing or thinking. However, uh, we are definitely making inroads into some Filipino politicians and people in the Philippines so that when we build our facility, we have help. And we've gotten some great response and, and look to have some great help. I live right next to Washington, D.C. I am literally half an hour from the uh, embassy of the uh, Philippines uh, in, in Washington, D.C. So it's pretty easy to make friends. <laughs> That's all I can say. There's a lot of Filipinos here. Uh, so I've made some great friends uh, that are helping in this task uh, of building this facility and, and making it work. However, I don't get involved in the politics part of that. Uh, that's not, you know, not my side. My side is to build the best facility possible for uh, Americans and other people that want to come there and enjoy the fact of being in a group in that protection and also enjoy the fact of being in a facility that has medical capabilities within it, it has food capabilities, that if you want to go down and get a convenience store thing, it's there at a low, low cost. Uh, you got food, American food, uh, that's prepared daily if you, that's what you want to eat, or you can eat exotic foods if you want or whatever. They'll prepare it. And if you like the pizza place down the street and they don't deliver, our jeepney guy, that's a local vehicle, uh, will go out and uh, pick it up for you at a cheap price. Why not? Well, why should you get up? <laughs> this, is, this is about being king. Uh, that's it. I, and again, I've heard that word used so many times by Filipinos that live here in the United States and go, I'm now going to retire from the United States. I've worked here for some company or something all these years. I'm going to retire to the Philippines and live like a king. Not my words. That's their words. And you got to think about that, you know? I mean, if other people here that live in the Philippines are going back and living like a king, why are we living like the gesture? <laughs> you know, here in the United States. Why are we at the mercy of the fact that the wages are going to go up and we're not going to get it? Why can't we retire? We have to keep working at low-wage jobs to be able to support ourselves. Yet I have, you have a retirement, but you just can't utilize it. That's crazy. It's nuts. That is just not the way it should be. But unfortunately, the way the government works and the way corporations work here, they know how much you make and they plan to take all of it that they can away. It's just the way it functions. I mean, hey, it's the best profit I can get out of you. And everything, you know, is a drama and you got to go through it. And it's, it doesn't make sense. Okay. Again, our thought is to remove that out of the way, that obstacle, keep getting the money you're getting, get it tax free. <laughs> you heard me tax free in the Philippines because that's a program already set up by the Philippine government so your money can flow through, make it into your pocket, and then you can live there, spend your money on your, your leasing uh, facilities, spend, your, spend it on uh, enjoying it at the pool. There's a pool at the facilities uh, and uh, have a good time with friends and that you meet there and enjoy. It is a fun place and, and that's what it's all about. And that's the main thing that uh, I, I want to try to get across is that this is a opportunity that you could be part of. Remember to email me 
send me questions uh, and I will answer them and uh, keep them coming. I'm uh, you know just starting off here and I'm already getting a few. But go to the website, uh, the, the islandgeneration.com, which is on the screen here. Just hit the subscribe button to YouTube so you can stay focused on this. Uh, at the islandgeneration.com website, you can also click on my email and send emails to me. Uh, you can see other information that we put up there. YouTube will probably be the most you know, efficient way that I can communicate with you. Um, I will not put, uh, if people ask questions, just so you know, other people have asked, uh, I don't put the names or even what city they come from or anything. Uh, if they want to do that, they can put comments at YouTube, I figure, and that's an open forum so people can see who they are and things like that. But when you ask a question, you might, yeah, you know, maybe embarrassed by the question, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't post those. So you stay anonymous uh, as you send that. And only I know, uh, you know, your email. And I can also email you back directly, too. Uh, but part of it is just join everything we've got up here so you can keep track. Hey, I, I don't advertise on this site. There's no advertising. You can get right to me. There's no monetization here. It's all about joining and making a group that as we start to build a facility and whether that money comes from large investors, small investors, or even people like you who say, you know what, I wanna be, I wanna be an investor in this. I think it's pretty cool. Hey, I'm welcome, uh, that's fine. One way or the other we'll make the money because the, the thing makes so much sense, it's simple. You have people that are gonna come there that have pensions, guaranteed income, and you're gonna build a facility and they're gonna pay the price to be there at a very reasonable price they can afford and they're gonna love it they're not gonna want to leave uh, yeah <laughs> not difficult to figure that out is it uh, I've been building revenue generating systems uh, for probably 40 years that's what I've been doing and I can tell you in high-tech industry that's a lot of what I do and I started off small made it big uh, my name's out there, you can see it. We've built huge computer centers for financial institutions, multinational financial institutions, and we've run them and built them. And they're money-making, generating programs, but they're very, very cost-efficient to those companies. So I don't see this as any different. My main thing is to give a great product back to the people who live there and to provide a good investment for those people that invest. So when you come to the website, you can click on it, uh, you know, hey, I want to be an investor. Click on it. Uh, no, I just want to live there. I want to take part of it. It's fine. Doesn't matter. <laughs> and in the meantime, you pay nothing because I don't need any of your money. Not in that regard. Okay. Uh, it's free info. Hope you liked it. The Island Generation. Subscribe here. Also, email me. I need some more so I can answer some more of those questions. Hard or not, I'll put them up here. Uh, and uh, we'll go on to the next show and keep the series going.